We can now speak to National Grid's CEO, Stephen Holliday. He joins us live from the London Stock Exchange. Thank you for joining us. Your stock is down by 8%. Are you concerned that actually investors don't believe you'll be successful in your rights issue? No, I don't think you should look at a stock movement on, on the opening this morning. What, what, we've, what we've announced today is, is, first of all, a very strong set of results. Our profits before tax are up 12%, just under £2 billion. Earnings per share up 14%. And we're increasing our dividend in line with our target of 8%. So the business is delivering strong financial results. Why is that? Because we've been investing. We've been investing over the past five years £14 billion. What we're now looking at in the next five years is an investment opportunity, right, attractive why... investments of £22 billion. If we focus a little bit on, on the rights issue, is this the right time to raise money? It does seem like the markets are in a dire state, volatility, a lot of uncertainty, certainly in Europe with the sovereign debt crisis. As I was just saying, £14 billion the last five years, and in this year just gone by, we've invested a record £3.3 .3 billion, all of which has attractive returns. We're now looking at £22 billion of investment, and in this new financial year, an immediate step up to £3.9 billion. We need to have the financial flexibility for a, a capital programme that clearly significantly above where we've been the past few years. That's why we're putting new equity into the business to maintain the credit ratings that we've always had over recent so times. Are you concerned that if you didn't do this rights issue at the moment, you would lose your credit rating? Absolutely. If we were to invest £22 billion in the next five years, we would not maintain the credit rating that is right for the business. We'll continue to fund some of this investment with new debt as well, but we'll maintain the structure of the balance sheet in the way that it has been over recent times. All right, Steve Holliday, this will help you set up investment to £22 billion over five years. How are you actually going to spend that money through acquisitions? Now, all of this money, importantly, is going into the UK. The step up in investment is all around essential investment here in the UK. It's to do with tying in new sources of generation, reinforcing the transmission system, tying in new sources of gas as our own, own production declines, and, and reinforcing that system. Growth. So it's absolutely organic growth into our core regulated businesses in the UK, which consistently earn attractive returns. That's important, but this is important infrastructure investment too. It's important investment for the UK and will create 5,500 very skilled jobs in the UK. What's outlook for demand like at the moment? We've seen some dire demand in the past. Are you confident that we're now in a full recovery phase? <clears throat> We saw a huge reduction in demand last year. You're, you're quite right. Our business is relatively insulated from that. Only a small piece of our business in the US actually earns a revenue that's related to demand. We have no relationship here in the UK, so the new investment has no relationship to demand. But we know that 25% of our power stations in the UK are retiring in the next 10 years. We know there are new sources of green energy that need connecting. We know we need to reinforce the system. So irrelevant of demand, we know that we we have the opportunity to invest £22 billion at attractive returns over the next five-year period. Uh, Steve Holly, we're almost out of time, but uh, your share price is still down by 8%. Are you not disappointed at all? I don't think I'm going to react to a share price reaction on the day. Let's see how this runs in the future. This is attractive returns. Our business will continue to grow, and our share price will react over the medium term, not on the day. All right, the CEO there of National Grid, Steve Holiday. thank you so much.